Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to Go Line Hockey. It's your boy Kevin Forte. We are taking a look today at some of the moves that were made at the trade deadline. Not actual trades, but some signings, some contract extensions. Will we take a look at that in this video? If you guys like what we're doing here at Go Line Hockey, want to see the latest news around the NHL, come on guys, you know what to do. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. And let's take a look at some of these signings and contract extensions. So let's get right into it. So the first one we saw was actually a signing. So the New Jersey Devils let go of Nikita Gusev earlier this week. And Nikita Gusev signed a one-year, $1 million contract with the Florida Panthers. The Florida Panthers added some depth. Now, they added some guys at the deadline as well. Defenseman Brandon Montour, Sam Bennett from the uh, Calgary Flames. And they also added Nikita Gusev from free agency. So, a nice pickup there for the Florida Panthers. He's going to add a little bit of scoring. He struggled with the Devils. The Devils give up a lot to get him from Vegas. Uh, but that just seems to be how things have worked out, unfortunately. So, yep, that's where we're at. So we have a couple of waiver claims as well. So the Ottawa Senators claimed defenseman Victor Mete off of waivers from the Montreal Canadiens. He played last night. Uh, pretty exciting there for Victor Mete. There's been a lot of stuff going on with him in terms of teams wanting to acquire him. We know that you know Montreal does not have the cap space or the availability on the roster to keep him around. So they put him through waivers and Ottawa claimed him. Almost instantly. They knew that they won Victor Mete. And if it wasn't going to be them, it was going to be somebody else. Another defensive, uh, another defenseman claimed off waivers. We see the New Jersey Devils put Sammy Vatanen on waivers. And Sammy Vatanen did not clear waivers. He goes to the Dallas Stars. Now, I thought this may have led to what we've heard from Elliot Freeman, that there may be a Jamie Oleksiak trade. That did not end up happening. Uh, Sammy Vatanen just ended up being some depth. Uh, to the roster for the the Dallas Stars, and, and that's it. So those are the two waiver claims. Now we get into some extensions. So Alex Iofalo signs a four-year, $16 million extension with the Los Angeles Kings. This is a nice deal for him. He'll be there till 2025. This is a good move. It's $4 million per season. Alex Iofalo has been a very nice piece for the LA Kings, so good thing they locked him up, and they are going to keep him around. So good move there. Now we see another big extension, kind of the same terms, but a little bit longer. So a five-year deal, $15 million for Scott Lawton over the next five years till 2026. It's a $3 million cap hit per season. A great move here by the Flyers, adding some depth. And Scott Lawton has been a pretty solid player. He wasn't generating the interest that the Flyers were maybe hoping for at this year's deadline. So they decided to lock him up. And keep him there long term. And with the Flyers out of the playoffs right now, if they didn't get a deal done with him, they probably would have moved him at the very least. And that is it, guys. Just a short little video. Uh, just talking about some of the waiver claims and some of the contract extensions. We've had to keep up with a lot going on here with the trade deadline. But now things are going to slow down tremendously. And then once we get to the postseason... Things will quickly pick up. We get to the playoffs. The playoffs, obviously, all the playoffs around the, the hype around the playoffs. Then we got uh, the draft, right? So we have the Stanley Cup champion. Then we have the draft. Then free agency. And it all starts over again this summer. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys like what we're doing here at Cold Line Hockey and you are not subscribed already, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.